Garza might not make it. <laughs> this ain't making it. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the results are in. That's not gonna work. This one, uh, you just, hey, you just flip it over. And this tooth? Got on the other side? Yeah, this tooth right here has lots of chat. Yeah, that's crazy. It's also Old this. pink. Yeah, I mean, it's got it all the <laughs> way around. It's all <laughs> Jeez. Yeah. You see the polished over? Yeah. The on the cam and how it's beat, not, you know, cam profile. Yeah. So I mean, like a sharp egg. See how it's like a flat egg? So what's that mean? It's wearing it down? Is the yes, lifter just toast? Have, no, it's the cam's toast. You don't have the, you're not achieving max lift. Yeah. So it's not opening the exhaust valve all the way. So it's not letting all the fuel okay. out. It's trying to burn. That's why I started to spit. So. Or I do still have some budget if I can find a cheap camshaft. Oh, so I'll find a camshaft. How much budget you got left? Matt, like just under 2100 bucks. So oh. I got. Okay. Yeah, that's, got that's enough money for a cam. Probably get a cheap cam kit for like 200 bucks. Yeah. It's just finding one that'll work with everything else <laughs> is going to be the tricky part. We'll not see. knowing what the springs are, not knowing what the push rod length yeah, is. Yeah, you just, honestly, like you don't so, need anything crazy. You just need a nice no, it's chill just cam. Something, it's just getting something to make yeah. everything work. Because if you end up with something that's bigger or smaller than you got, yeah. and it doesn't have enough lift to open the valve, mm -hmm. you're in the same boat, but on more than one cylinder. You got some water in your oil, too. Yeah, you'll get that on these big jobs. <laughs> that cannot be good. <laughs> Did you change the oil in it? I just put oil in it. <laughs> Idiot, dude. What are you, Parker Mitchell? Hey, it's not here for a long time. It's here for a good time. All right, yeah. Let's get her fixed. That looks fine. I got it. Call him flat. Tap it because he's supposed to be flat. That's a little fishbowl. 
And if you had good oil in there. <laughs> oh, I think I've been fighting that problem the whole time. <laughs> All right, guys, so uh, Monday after the boat challenge, Cam was wiped out in the in the old jet boat ripper, but just left our uh, favorite parts store by the old shop, Garrett Performance. Got us a mother thumper comp cam for this thing. So not only are we getting a little increase of power, we're also getting a camshaft. We know what it is, which is huge. Now we know where to target, you know, peak power, RPM, match it with the intake that's on it. But gave me a smoking deal on a cam and lifters. Still have budget left and uh, going to get back down to the shop, get this thing all slapped together and, and see how much better it runs with all eight cylinders firing on, you know, both intake and exhaust. Mother thumper. Got us a bump stick, boys. 15 16 race cam right here. All right, got the new mother thumper slid up in there. Got my timing chain back on there. The gear about to drop in these lifters. See up the front of this motor, drop on the intake, and then go ahead and distributor time it. Valve covers after the rockers. We'll be back in action. What you think about that, Georgie? I'll go ahead and rebuild the whole motor after the Hey, you'll get that on these big jobs. Should have left you some budget. All right, so uh, one thing I went ahead and did before I got any further on this is I went ahead and put the push rods in the motor. And since it's at TDC cylinder one, put the rockers and poly locks for that cylinder on to make sure that the push rod length that I have will work with this camshaft. And uh, after I set the preload where they wanted it, it uh, looks like it's going to work perfect. So that's a good thing. Don't need to worry about changing push rods or whatnot. Anytime, anytime you change a cam, there's a chance that uh, the lift and duration changes to where the push rod length you have won't work. So I just wanted to make sure before I got this thing all the way together that what I have will work and it will. So I'll go ahead and button up the front of this motor and then go ahead and do the rest. All right, so intake's on, carburetor's on, hooked up. Only thing left is the throttle linkage. Drop the distributor in there, time it, make sure everything's good. I uh, also got to fix a broken bolt in the alternator to have the alternator belt back on, but going to worry about that after I get it running. Rather make sure everything's good and it runs before I worry about it charging. George is excited. He says 15, 16, so that's almost a whole inch. Dang right. Ba -ta 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 -ta. Like a Probably bunch of potatoes. Is it? Is he going to potato in? Oh, dude. Let me hear a potato in. Potato, 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 been sitting on the charger for a little bit. Got it hooked up to the hose outside the shop. Got Georgie back here working the time a lot. He uh, is kind enough to lend me a hand on getting, make sure this thing's time running, ripping right. You know what they say, you gotta keep it cool when we run with that AC on. Cool AC on. All right, bucko. Clean this baby off a little bit. That was my uh, antique vintage rust. <laughs> This thing pretty much there, I think. Might do an oil change. Got to double check, triple check the budget, but we got it. Uh, give it the two pump. Click on the ignition. <laughs> we had the timing where it's at. Had it back the other way. Put it back to where it's at, and all the problems seem to go away. It's not spent back to the carburetor anymore. Um, also, those two little valves right there in the front of the motor here and here turn on the water for the exhaust. And I literally had to tune the carburetor around turning those knobs, you know, from quarter way, halfway to all the way open to flow water into the exhaust. The overlap on the cam is a little bit different. It's not really like a marine cam. So it's uh, what we're thinking is when those valves open up, it's sucking water in backwards into the exhaust valve and start to fill the cylinder with water because you can literally have it idling perfect turn those valves to where it's flowing water to the exhaust and it will start 
to choke the motor out and shut it off like it's like it's uh trying to run on water so went ahead and shut them got it running real good and slowly started turning them and adjusting the carburetor around it now at idle i can turn them all the way open it seems to be happiest if i turn them halfway and at halfway open i figured it'd be idle and once it's ripping could reach back and wick them open all the way but it uh it's working i think we're gonna water test it tomorrow for part two of the boat challenge hopefully it goes a little bit better than it did the first time all right we're gonna go test this sucker i'll see if she floats <laughs> you got your uh we got enough fuel yeah we should it's got yeah about yeah five ran decent without the load on the jet so yeah it really can't load it out of the water yeah so. all right guys we're gonna go try it so that we don't start another challenge day and then show up and have a bunch of problems so Jack and I gotta hit the water, see what we can make happen. Definitely has got something back in it. Damn. You know what you need? A stomp grate. Damn. What the hell, dude? Right when we thought we had it going. Dude, real tough break, man. This thing's <laughs> a serious headache for you. Oh, yeah. You get these on these vintage jobs. Oh, my gosh. All right. So, guys, now James going to pull the jet pump apart. First a lot water. of rocks in that spot first, where we put in. First water test went the same way. Hey, well, good news. Tomorrow's test has a concrete boat ramp, so you should <laughs> you should be dialed. All right, we'll get that cleared out, and uh, yeah, it comes off pretty easy. Sweet. Real good teamwork we got going here. This is the dueling. Mm. What in tarnation? That thing's crazy. Yeah. So last time we had a big old rock in one of these pockets. Causing the same effect. It looks good. I think it just uh, had all that crap in there. It wasn't letting it get the air yeah, out. Yeah, this was not definitely like this last time we had this off. Yeah, that got cooked pretty good. The uh, also could have been could have bounced out or not been stuck in this. All right, so plan is we're going straight to the ocean, huh? It's all cleared out back together. So uh, no more test drives. Just gonna try. If we're gonna test it, it's gonna <laughs> be on the journey. I mean, it's definitely running way better. Yeah, it it's got a good flywheel, and the jet got cleaned out. So this is go time. Got one thing to do: go out there and floor it. All right, cool. All right, guys, James' boat's back up and going. So the boat challenge continues. Uh, we'll be going here in a couple of days. That's it for now. It's going to need some more gas for sure. That's it for now. Thanks for watching. Do it for Dale. We will freaking see you later.